Raising up for the win. 37-year-old Patrick Batillo dressed up every Suns game to play the persona of Mr. Orange. Phoenix back in front. He's got a 40 piece. Endearing himself to the community as a fun, dedicated super fan. There is Mr. Orange. There is somebody that is passionate, loyal, dedicated, committed, um, fun, energetic. Um, all of that encompasses Mr. Orange. Everyone from strangers to celebrities post for selfies with this dynamic character. Good, pop out good. He was also good. Coach Pat, the head basketball coach who took the Peoria High School Panthers to the 4A state championships. This is extremely disturbing. And under it all, Police say there was yet another persona with deviant criminal behavior we're only now getting a glimpse of. He was soliciting teenage males for photographs and images in exchange for money. Child sexual predators have to be loved. They need to be that really great guy that's loved by everyone. Jessica Nicely runs Winged Hope, a nonprofit in Mesa. She helps sex abuse survivors and trains counselors, law enforcement, and families on the red flags to watch for. That energy, that excitement, that buzz. She says this is a classic case with a suspect going out of his way to take students to games to impress them. He's actually like sort of famous in the arena. At least six people are like, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? I was like, oh, so he's actually like, he's actually famous for real. Like, can I get a picture, please? I was like, oh my God. Police are investigating the possibility of more victims. The district says Batillo passed a background check when he was hired. Jessica says all predators will until they're caught. And the statistics are shocking. Only one in 10 children who've been sexually abused will report it. It usually takes seven years for that disclosure and about 12 years for a child sexual predator to be caught. So we can be thinking about that with this guy. Um, and that's part of probably why he is so brazen. He's very likely been doing this for a very long time. Detectives say they have damning digital evidence in the Mr. Orange case. Snapchat messages with a 16-year-old boy asking for graphic photos and videos and at least one payout. Jessica says it's remarkable these boys came forward and very likely they're not the only ones it's happened to. He's a bit brazen again, which is why I think he's done this a long time, to want to be on TV when he's doing this kind of behavior. She's an advocate and a survivor. And they want for it to be that if this comes out, you'd be like, no, he couldn't possibly because he's so nice. And she knows firsthand the manipulation and premeditation it takes to cast doubt should any survivor find the courage to tell. And it appears that might have happened here. There was another teacher that was also involved. Detectives arrested the teacher the boys went to for help, saying instead of calling to report it right away, she sent the boys to the office and back to class and confronted Batillo herself. And I, I want to commend these young boys who came forward because that does not happen often. They told quickly um, and they told it all. And as boys, that's a big, big deal. Jessica says it's never too late to come forward and it's never too soon to have sex talks and teach your kids about boundaries and having a safe adult they can confide in. Trust your instincts. She wants all of us to be more alert and says it's healthy for parents to default to being wary. Nobody wants to believe when you feel like something's off, that's what it is. So you don't want to think that way. So I'm asking parents to think that way. Because while some criminals wear masks to commit crimes, ones who can do the most damage are most often hiding in plain sight. Don't stop talking about this when we've forgotten about this guy next week. Keep talking about it.